What is RU486? What is the source of controversy surrounding it? In late September of the year 2000, the FDA announced that it approved the use of RU486 in combination with the prostaglandin to induce abortion during the early stages of pregnancy. The so-called abortion pill had been used in Europe for several years, but whether it was to be used in the United States had been hotly debated by pro-choice and pro-life activists around the country. Although the pill has become a staple of media coverage, little attention has been given to the scientific studies of its safety or action. As a result, many Americans have little reliable information about the drug whose controversial nature has landed it at the center of the abortion debate. I have no idea. I haven't really heard of that before. I have no idea. I believe it's a bill for the abortion law and whether or not it should be made illegal in, the, in Michigan. It's a pill that was approved that causes miscarriages and a lot of people call it the abortion pill. Nope. Uh, I think I remember in seeing in Newsweek once that they had something with some kind of a spiral type thing going on. It just induces a miscarriage. I'm not really sure. Um, I believe so. The first one um, makes the fetus detach from the uterine wall, and then after that, it actually aborts the fetus. Mm -hmm. It has to have been because they've been using it for like 20 or 30 years in Europe. Well, it's not medically safe. In fact, uh, there have been uh, cases during the trials where there have been uh, women who have uh, uh, been di uh, harmed or even uh, one case where a woman died during the trials. I know they have a version thereof in Europe that they've been using for a long time. From what I've read, that it's safer than pregnancy. There's less risks involved. I'm just a veterinarian, not a physician, but I wouldn't use it on my dog. Because I'd have to see test results. From ABC News, this is Nightline. An entire edition of ABC's program Nightline was devoted to RU486. However, the main focus of reporting was on the ethical controversy and political agenda. Medical experts were affiliated with political groups. Pro-choice individuals simplified or ignored the drug's disadvantages. Pro-life individuals exaggerated or fabricated them. This trend was observed in publications like Time and Newsweek, in radio broadcasts on NPR, and on the popular program Hardball. Consistently, science was disregarded. It's a classic of reporters all asking the same question about a drug they knew nothing about. They, they, and no one would learn about it from watching one of these shows. It's classic because it happens every day with programmatic regularity on every show like this, which is really meant to exaggerate, go right to the heart of a controversy. No dull, flat moments. We don't know much about the subjects we cover. We're not very good lawyers or businessmen or scientists or doctors. The lack of neutral and informative coverage in the media may well be the source of the public's confusion about RU486. However, it is crucial that the public understand the science behind the controversy. As the drug enters the political spotlight, voters and legislators alike need to be aware of the facts surrounding RU486 before laws and restrictions are made. Most importantly, patients that may be considering medical abortion must have clear and concise information. For these reasons, it is necessary to answer the questions, what is RU486?